arrived on the shores of Bombay on the 8th of May 1855. The journey started then on a bullock cart from Bombay to Hyderabad. They were welcomed by Monsignor Daniele Murphy Irish missionary who was working with the British military in the cantonment area of Secunderabad. The primary work of these two missionaries first of all was to learn English so that they could administer the soldiers in giving the sacraments, celebrating the Eucharist and other pastoral activities. Father Domenico Barbero and other female missionaries worked tirelessly to spread the gospel in the coastal areas of Andhra Pradesh, especially in the region of Vijayawada and in the Telangana region. Thanks to their tireless work that we have six big dioceses erected by the female missionaries. The Archdiocese of Hyderabad, the Diocese of Warangal, Vijayawada, Khammam, Eluru and Nalgonda. It was in 1989, PMA officially became international in the decisive assembly in Tagaytay. approvò la internazionalizzazione per l'India con 39 voti su 41, due soltanto furono contrari. Father Benito Picasha, the then regional superior, lost no time in building two seminaries. One for the orientation course in Eluru, named after a patroness Mary Queen of Apostles and a seminary for philosophy and theology in Pune. then began sending missionaries. The faith sown by many Pime missionaries in the hearts of the people began to bear fruit. On the other hand, Pime in India stopped getting missionaries right from mid-1960s. At present, there are six Italian confreres who are working in India. 
Father Antonio Bruni, Father Luigi Pezzoni, Father Quinta Ba Orlando, Father Carlo Toriani, Brothers Enrico Meragalli and Sartori Francesco. All the others working in India are Indians, except for one Brazilian confrere destined to India this year, Father Ed Carlos. Our fathers are engaged mainly in three different activities. Evangelization. I go to say the Mass. Mm -hmm. At the beginning of this village, there is a Blessed Virgin Mary Chapel. Mm -hmm. Among the Arisians, every day. Father Orlando, who works with, still with the old style of creating communities where there are still no Christians. Father Augustine Mundupalakal, Father Pallet Augustine, Father Chatragata Vijay Kumar, and Father Puttampura George, who are working in parishes and also in substations of these parishes. Then a thrust is given on human promotion and rehabilitation, especially Father Gruni Antonio, who runs an NGO, Sarva Prema Sangha, catering to the sick and the marginalized. We cover the full city with the daily clinics for leprosy and the skin diseases in the um, health centers of the municipality. Uh, we conduct extensive field work uh, by our paramedics in the whole city for the follow-up of leprosy patients as well as uh, to be an HIV AIDS affected patients. Uh, we extensively cooperate with the health authorities of the government. Father Carlo Toriani founded Swargadwar, a rehabilitation center for patients of the disease of leper, leprosy. Swargadwar. Swargadwar praticamente è stato un ripensamento degli ideali iniziali perché da Lok Seva Sangha era nata con il motto to cure leprosy without segregation curare i lebrosi senza segregazione perché da quello che avevo capito io che, faccio, che fa soffrire i lebrosi non è la malattia perché toglie la sensibilità quindi non sentono dolore ma la segregazione e quindi da sociologo eh, per me era la segregazione da togliere quindi Father Rairala took over the center in the year 2007 and is present its director. Father Luigi Pezzoni also runs a leprosy rehabilitation center in the diocese of Nalgonda. Leprosy patient now in hospital for hunger. All those who are here are not, uh, uh, the majority are Hindu. Other activities are formation and education. Brothers Sartori and brother Brother Sartori and Enrico are educating young students in the technical field through the industrial school in Eluru. Father Jasawala Ralph, who is our regional superior, stays in the regional house in Eluru taking care of administration and animating our region. Father Taina Manal George is the correspondent of St. Xavier's educational institutions. Tota Balaswami is the warden of St. Xavier's Bodhi. Pima in India at present is looking forward to venturing in other parts of India for evangelization work. Great is the task ahead. The immediate lack is that of having people, personnel, to go and explore new possibilities of evangelization. The near future 
will surely pave way to the India region to revitalize its charism of being ad gentis, ad extra, ad vitam in CMA.